Hi everybody, I'm Shah and I'm uh, going to do a review on the book Workplace Spells Everyday Magic on the Job by Marla Brooks. Do you remember the, um, uh, what you call it, the cards, the oracle cards of Marla Brooks, the Witch's Oracle? Well, this is the same author, so I enjoyed that series with Wendy and I enjoyed those cards very much and I've had a lot of reviews so if you've got these cards then this is the um, uh, book you must have as well anyway you must have the book and I'm, uh, we've got two books Wendy and I and we're going to work from these two books in the new series and this is the book I've just done the review The Healthy Witch so go and have a look at the review as well and now I'm going to do this book by Marla Brook and she also hosts um, Para X Radios Stirring the Cauldron so if you go to her website you can see everything she does and there is also a b um, the radio program Stirring the Cauldron <coughs> it's paperback it's quite tough but I wish they had done it in hardback like the witch's book you know like real leather or something imitation that would have given you the authenticity but I do like the photo the old-fashioned with the new okay since we are working on the um, on you on uh, the computer and cyber so I'm I think it's quite um, uh, quite sweet that they have um, uh, put a mouse in front of it instead of the cat and now you've got the witch's table some tools of the witches like the mortar and pestle and stones and the broom the table broom and the wand it's rather sweet and what it says on the back is sometimes good intentions aren't good enough and we need a little help to make it uh, though the day work day through the work day and this is a spelling mistake sorry about that some people pray others put their noses to the grind stone now you can take a different path and resolve workplace issues in a magical way this special spell book is an easy to go guide f to 51 spells rituals and ritual explanations and cautions covering pesky job related hurdles get a raise or a promotion hold thy tongue gather inspiration melt away stress or just make them leave you alone you can do it magic can help 51 ready-made spells to get ahead in the workplace create your own workplace spells whether you are new the craft or uh, the craft or a se seasoned practitioner understand herbs amulets divinations gemstones and incense the book is 1999 US dollars and I will leave all the information uh, below and when you open the book there is also a bookmarker that a red feather sh uh, publishers have put in and the pictures are absolutely beautiful perhaps I should do it more like this and you can see Marla Brooks there and something like the altar or the table and it gives you a welcoming feeling of the witches workplace about the author I will talk say a little bit about the author Marla Brook Brooks lives a magical life she's a practice uh, practicing Wiccan a paranormal investigator and ghost writer who has just completed her third book in a series of books on the ghosts of Hollywood. She can be heard each week on the host of her own show on Para X Radio called Sterling the Cauldron. Marla currently shares her Hollywood home with her partner Ken, who when he calls her a witch means it is in the best possible way a large white German Shepherd named Kylie a white cat called P 
pipsqueak and crochery old cockatiel named Bentley and several resident ghosts. And then we go to the um, book itself and it's glossy, voluptuous, rich paper and this looks like the old parch paper, the colour anyway. It gives you all the information about people that have worked in here, the printers and who did who did the photography and then we start off with dedication. To those who have gone before us and to those who have yet to come. Then we have the acknowledge, uh, acknowledgments. I have been quite fortunate since I decided to come out of the broom closet and admit my wicked ways and I am thankful to be surrounded by supportive and loving folks who have helped me along the various ways. Bright blessings are sent to Dinah Rosemary and goes on to several names. Blessings must also be bestowed on everybody else um, as they took me in with open arms I could have a forum to talk about the craft and help educate, enlighten and clear, uh, clear up some uh, my misconceptions to keep many of us pagans flying low under the radar and as the Gloucester Ghostologies Brian and Anne Marie buyers who opened my eyes and made me realize that there was a need for show like stirring the cauldron in the first place. Thank you guys very much and then you get the contents. Now I will read through the contents very quickly and then I will show you some of the pages as I don't want to spoil um, the surprise for uh, everybody that's going to hopefully join me and Wendy in the new series in the autumn. So keep an eye open for that. The contents, introduction, how to cast and create your own spells. The lesser banishing ritual, ritual tools, raising energy, spells, and then you get um, the spells all listed down. I think there were 51. Adaptability, um, attracting customers, banishing obstacles in the workplace, car blessing, clarity spell, cleansing the work environment, decision, decisions, decisions spell, uh, difficult phone calls, if you find it difficult to talk I suppose, to uh, and also that um, staticness on the phone. Empowerment sachet, and then we've got the first dollar spell, get to work on time, the lucky herb jar, the gossip spell, harmony power, hold the tongue, I can do it, uh, do it spell, Woo. Um, incense pot potpourri spells, inspiration, job interview spells, leave me alone, parking, motivation, safe travel by car, by air, and seeking the truth, starting a business, Sweet, sweet smell of success, sachet uh, to combat the midday blast, to find the job of your dreams, to free your mind, traffic jam chant, washing away stress, wish sack, witch's bottle, then the candle magic, and then we have also magical herbs, magical amulets, these are spells as well. The gemstones, magical gemstones, it will explain. I'll show you one bit by bit. And then we've got the magical properties of incense, pagan deities, spirit guides, the Wiccan reed, and that's rather the rule, and the law of three and a final thought. So we start with the introduction. It just goes on to say uh, about why witches were uh, uh, um, witches go back uh, to antiquity and according to the early Christian churches and why they were 
uh, witch hunted and etc etc that gives you an explanation and the history and that the victims were killed about three pages then how to create create and cast your own spell so if you would like to become a witch then this is a book of must have it's a good book to begin with okay you by using the various appendix in this book it is a simple matter to make up your own spell as you see fit in fact the best type of spell is one you have created yourself just remember that as much energy as you put in your magic that is, that's as much as you'll get out first and most important is your intuition do it with a pure heart and you'll be all right you must know that you have the power within you use meditation to clear your mind of all outside influences before you cast the spell remember the negativity within you can change magical output and unexpected and unpleasant ways I'm not going to go into this as I said join me and Wendy then we have then we start with the lesser banishing ritual now this is just a little a bit of it and here they will go into the language of the like Gaelic of the the, the witch the east the south and the north just a little if you're not joining our group then this is what you will see in the book then you've got the ritual tools and then it will also explain north and where north is related to in the northeast southwest wheel and also the element not the element of air but the element of the wit in the witch's world then we have the powers of the north the powers of the east the powers of the south the powers of the west and how you finish your uh, ritual and to bless your ritual tools other ritual tools well that's like the mortal and pestle and the cauldron I'm not I'm not um, telling everything then we have how to raise energy and I love the photos on it it will give you two pages of inf um, of um, instructions and enlightenment and e e uh, details in detail and then a magic spell is simply form uh, form formalized in intention again this will tell you how to do a spell how to start a spell then we have the first spell I'm just going to show you quickly some pictures this is irritating me sorry guys and like I said the pictures are beautiful like this is like a rainbow all-purpose spell then we've got some other things anti-anxiety spell attracting customers I'm just going to flip through the pictures that's like a wall in Yorkshire I love it I'm not telling you which spell that is but the photon that's just a bottle and these are ruins the eye and there's a crystal here as a picture uh, and then the spell underneath and then we have candles and the mirror I love the photography on this I 
that's a computer and an old telephone That's the elegant spell and the sachet. That's tig tiger's eye, if I'm not wrong. Then we've got a dollar. So that's obviously the money spell. And we've got a clock, something to do with time. And we've just got a burning candle and a pot of herbs. And then we've got a bomb <laughs> and lavendal. And then we've got a dragon. So the pictures are related to the witches, like dragons and broomsticks and candles and pestle and mortar and joss sticks. And then we have um, other uh, herbs that you can use for the spells to draw money, uh, for creativity, uh, for success, empowerment, and, and lots more. And then we have the a computer, mobile phone. It's very well up to date. It's going with its time. I li really like that. Okay. Well, so that is some of the spells, and this is the last spell. And the witch's bottle just explains what the witch's bottle does and is, and how to make one. Then we have candle magic and the colors of the candles, what they mean, what they stand for. I know green, if I'm right, is for money. Green stimulates work involving financial issues and money. There you go. Ah, I'm quite chuffed that I knew that. And then we've got magical herbs. And you get one, two, th three, four, four pages. No, let's have a look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages. So it's quite a little library wrapped into a one book with magical herbs. And then we've got magical amulets. And I love the way they've used the crow because he's very intelligent and he belongs to the, to the witch the animal and insects like alligators what they mean to a witch or a badger or a bat and you've got two three uh, four pages of that and then you've got specific birds let's see if there is a magpie Nope, I can't see a magpie yet. Nope, there's no magpie. But my favorite, one of my favorite birds is in here. That's a swan. So I'll just give you tip of the iceberg. Like I said, swan is feminine grace and beauty uh, that stirs divine inspiration. And then we go on to nature like uh, an acorn or an evergreen tree what that means to a witch and what they use it for and then we have other objects like Aladdin's lamp and a fairy a fairy increases magical powers there you go we've got the ha pentagram there and the wand and the candle and cards art of little dots okay there's also a magical definition 
then you've got ceremony, mirror, mirror scrying, automatic writing, crystal ball scrying. That's just some of the definitions. Okay. Then we have magical gemstones. That's tiger's eye and quartz and amethyst. You just give the meanings. That's got three, four, five, six pages, seven, eight, nine, ten pages of gemstones, definitions, and how to use them. Okay, then we go on to magical properties. And what do I mean by magical properties? That is um, spices and oils. I'll just take a common one that everybody knows. Let's have a look. Cedar wood, protection, strength and healing. And ginseng, you all know what that means. And lavender is antidepressant, calming, healing, physical, mentally balancing, help ensure restful sleep, yes, calming. Immune builder, yes, it's also um, an antiseptic, but not for open wounds. Remember that. You can put it also in your bath and it just eases. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five pages. And then you've got the traditional Sabbath or Sabbat uh, incense. And that is all the seasons like the candle mass, spring equinox, Beltane. Summer Solace, Lamas, Autumn Equinox, Charmaine and Winter Solace. And if you have watched the other video, they are getting mentioned really in depth in this book. So that's nice to work together these books. Then we've got Pagan Deities. Uh, pagan uh, Pagans invoke any gods or some call them angels, some call them spiritual guides. And then you've got the arts, the astrology, cats, childbirth, communications, courage, dreams, earth, fertility, good luck, etc., etc. Okay. And the deities, they are all named one by one. So uh, we'll get there. When Wendy is with me and with us. Okay. Then we've got spirit guides. Many of us in the pagan community acknowledge the presence of spirit guides, sometimes also referred to as guardian angels. And there you go. We are all born with one spirit guide who has the interest in our development in lives from birth to death. They want us to do well and will offer their help if we ask for it that's what we do so it doesn't matter whether you're a witch a vegan a pagan a, 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 a wacken a, a wicca sorry wacca <laughs> wicca um or just a dead ordinary person that wants to learn more about information about herbs and oils and meditation this is also to do with meditation it just it's just just done in a different way and this is why you know I'm always eager to learn and interested I don't hold any discrimination or racism and this is what we should realize that the alternative system whether it's a, a homeopathist or a reflexologist or a witch or a um, Wiccan or a pagan or a vegan uh, we can all live together and we can actually give more back if we work together to the earth and then more or less at the, at the end you've got the uh, the Wiccan read and that's the Wiccan rules and you know you mustn't abuse that it's like the Ten Commandments 
I know I'll get comments. How oh, can you compare this to the Bible? Well, I'm sorry, I believe in the Bible too. I read more books than one. Mm. And it just is two, three pages of rules. And then you the last one is the rule of three. And this looks like the universe, the cosmos, the world. Wow. And then we have the final thought. And I'll close the, the video off with the final thought. This book of spells for the workplace was created to both enhance and enrich your time away from the comforts of home. Within your work environment many challenges await. So cast your spells with the best of intentions and the warmest of hearts. Your ultimate success depends on it. But do it with a pure heart. With the warmest of hearts. And then you can also see that's what they've used. Shiver. More books that you can order. And one is The Ghosts of Hollywood, also by Marla Brooks. The show still goes on. Then we've got The Web and Lights. Riots for Witches. Rights for Witches. In New Ages. Witches Brew. Secret Sense. Ghosts of Hollywood, number two. That's the series. And then you've got um, Green Magic. The Healing Power of Herbs. Talismans and Stone. Wow. Now, if anybody wants the names of these books that are in this book, then let me know. I'll uh, make a photocopy and send it on to you. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it's going to be a whopping fun and whopping success. Now, you can get the, this book from Red, uh, Red Feather, from Shiva. I will leave the information below the video for this book, and the other one you can find on the review of the healthy witch so whether you're Dutch or English I'll make them both in Dutch and English so join us and I hope you will share and like this informative video and I can't wait so I hope to see you there take care enjoy your holiday if you're on holiday and stay safe and be blessed ciao ciao